Welcome to CivilNet. My guest today here in our studio is Garine Van. She is the media and content manager for One Armenia. Garine, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, One Armenia has been very active in Armenia for the last several years since its inception and introduction. And you've done a lot of projects. Mm -hmm. um, we've covered some of those projects um, because we believe in and the work that you're doing. And this one is particularly interesting and exciting. It's called Hike Armenia. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell our viewers what's, what it's about? Uh, well, Hike Armenia is a project that has been on our back burner for actually since the organization started, um, even back when we had a totally different team. It's always kind of been a dream of our founders and of the original team. Um, and it's something that's only now coming to fruition. And uh, it's very new territory for One Armenia on a few different uh, levels. Uh, so for example, it's the first time that uh, we are going to be uh, engaging in a project where we're not sponsoring another organization to implement said project. It's the first time that we are basically funding our own project. Right, because what we know of One Armenia is you see, you see worthwhile cause and then you help them with crowdfunding and uh, marketing and getting the word out. Mm -hmm. So th this is actually the very first time that you're doing a project mm -hmm. of your own. Yeah, that we're going to be following through on. Of course, um, well, I'll tell you a little bit about the project itself and what mm -hmm. the components are. Um, so it's a several phase project. Uh, there are two main phases. The two phases that we're going to be crowdfunding for are uh, phase one, which is actually physically marking trails in Armenia. Um, we ha are working with hiking experts, one in particular who's featured in our video. Um, and so through this contact, we're going to be meeting with the entire community to settle on some international standards that we want to implement in our marking of trails in Armenia. Uh, so thousands of hiking trails exist in Armenia. Five, six, seven are marked. Um, that's not including Karabakh. Uh, so this is a very important aspect of the project in that we want people who are visiting Armenia for the first time to be able to see these trails and actually use them. And also to attract that kind of tourist, mm -hmm. right? The Backpackers. Because, right, because there are people who, who go to different yeah. countries for the experience of hiking. And if they were to come to Armenia now, are there websites or available inf information at tourist centers mm -hmm. for them? There are tour agencies. There are individual private tour agencies. Um, but the fact of the matter is the industry is very disconnected as it stands. And for those DIY kind of tourists, which is, um, I would say, you know, my generation is very much sure. a DIY generation. Sure. Um, and sure, backpackers aren't, you know, necessarily going to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars into one backpacker isn't going to, you know, make a huge financial impact. But one back, the beautiful thing about that generation, about this DIY kind of, you know, I want to get on an app and do it myself, they're so communicative. Mm -hmm. And there's this real emphasis on participatory culture and, you know, leaving feedback so that other people can know, leaving this written digital footprint. Okay, so let's, let's uh, step back for a second. So aside from actually mark, physically mm -hmm. marking the trails, you're also developing an app. Yeah, I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> Um, so phase two of our project right. is to uh, take these trails that are marked, um, but not just those trails that are marked, trails that are well known in Armenia that may not even be marked. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to program those, upload those into a digital platform that's going to be a bridge uh, for people, travelers coming to Armenia, but not just for travelers, honestly, for a local people living here. Um, I know that I've been here for over a year and I certainly haven't been as uh, active hi hiking wise as I maybe could have been if there was some kind of resource mm -hmm. that I could use that is, puts the information in one place. Um, and so that's, very, that's, that's the largest part of our budget that we're going to be fundraising for. Obviously, it's much more expensive than you know, painting trails and creating signs. Mm -hmm. um, the programming of an app, um, yeah, it's expensive. Sure. Um, well, you have a promotional video that you've uh, put on your um, crowdfunding uh, page. Uh, why don't we take a look at the video now, and then we'll come back and uh, finish up. Sure. 
Modern day Armenia is young and is in the stages of development and has infrastructural issues. Hike Armenia is a long term program with two major stages. First, we will mark the hiking trails connecting the hiker with the local NGOs, businesses and people. This will grow the industry and aid economic development by supporting local businesses. Tourism is a large industry in developing countries and Armenia has a lot to offer the traveller. Armenia has a large variety of mountain ranges for hiking. On top of almost every mountain, one can find churches dating back to the 5th century, caves when our ancestors lived, many historical and national gems. For its size, Armenia is rich with flora and fauna. It's just breathtaking to be in the middle of the nature and the part of the nature while discovering many cultural aspects tucked away in the mountains. In the second stage, we will develop an app that will allow the users to access already marked trails via GPS, leave comments on the trails, upload photos and find out places to eat, rest and sleep, as well as things to look for and things to look out for. The heart of this application is to build a network of hikers who are interested in Armenia and aiding in its development. Our vision is to provide work for the local population while having fun and discovering more about Armenia's beautiful nature and history. So the, the app, if, if I upload the app onto my smartphone and I see that there have been 10 hikers on this particular trail, I can follow their comments and mm -hmm. uh, what, th what their experience or they say, oh, you know, this particular climb was difficult. Mm -hmm. We have all that information yeah. on the one app. But it's not just going to be information from travelers themselves. Mm -hmm. It's also uh, going to be information that we've retrieved from legitimate sources such as, you know, hiking experts or the few hiking books that exist. You know, what are these logistical information that's so valuable for hikers, um, there is there already we did preliminary research for this project quite a bit actually. Um, we looked into all kinds of platforms that already exist. We thought about maybe tapping into one of those um, global generic platforms. For example, Wikiloc is one of the is one of them, um, where all over the world you can upload your hiking trail. But um, to be honest, we we wanted something that was going to be specific to Armenia. We didn't just want to tap into another thing because there's we thought that. There is so much here that would be missed out on through such a, a generic platform. Sure, because um, you know, in the video, you talk about the cultural and the religious monuments that are that are found everywhere on these hiking trails, and then there's an economic component mm -hmm. as well, the economic spin-off for the villagers or the people living in those uh, areas. Mm -hmm. um, so another part of this uh, of the app is that we hope to foster connectivity not just between the hiking trails themselves and the people but between organizations and people and other and people visiting. Um, we want to work with organizations, for example, I'll make a shout out to ARC Armenia. Mm -hmm. They're doing amazing work in the Sunik region, um, developing ecotourism there. They already have uh, created an eco camp made out of recycled materials from mining companies. I mean, this is information that people coming to the country for the first time, it's, it's something that you might have to live here six months to hear about maybe. Or six years even. Exactly. Or your whole life. Yeah, and, and, and so we want to make this information available mm -hmm. in, you know, in a beautiful interface. Um, and we've already selected some, you know, parts of apps that we mm -hmm. were impressed by. And so we want to include those features into our uh, app and build upon them, ha allowing businesses and organizations, not just NGOs, but also tour guides, mm -hmm. um, to have their own pages um, right. so that they can maintain their uh, status, kind of like a little bit of like TripAdvisor in a way. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I guess fostering communication in the hiking industry rather than um, you know restaurants or, sure, or sure. museums. Oh, and how much are you looking to raise and is there a time frame for for people to donate? Mm -hmm. um, so our main our crowdfunding target goal is a uh, $25,000 a little bit over $25,000 and uh, we have until October 29th okay. our 
typically our campaigns last a month, um, and so we're pretty optimistic uh, and based on the feedback. And you've been successful every time, I think, right? Um, well, we didn't hit our target goal uh, in the last month, right. but uh, it was the most ambitious campaign we've ever had, and we were still able to build three greenhouses right. in the Tabush region. If we had hit it, we would have built four, but I think three is three's, still a successful number. Three is a good number. start, right. yeah. Well, Gary Nevan, thank you so much. This is a, a really exciting, um, and I would even dare say massive venture that you've, uh, yeah. because uh, uh, I can imagine those hiking trails must be really difficult to mark and then developing the app. So we hope that our viewers will support you and others as well so that um, you connect hiking, tourism, economic development, regional development mm -hmm. with yeah. a simple idea. It's a concerted effort right. and so we're in this stage of the project where we're really looking for people who are enthusiastic, people who are wanting to collaborate. So this is the time for that. It's right. kind of killing two birds with one stone. Hi, Carminia. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like to remind our viewers that my guest was Gary Nevan. She's the media and content manager for One Armenia. Keep following CivilNet.